Hey, this is Rob from Producer Tech, and I thought I'd make a quick movie on using Machina inside Live. That's showing how to control the groups from MIDI tracks in Live and how to route the audio out onto tracks to be mixed there as well. Um, obviously, I've, I've made a video showing how to do this in Logic Pro, and the process is basically identical, but it is slightly different, of course, and I've st I'm still getting some questions from confused students about it, so I thought I'd make a quick movie. So what I've done is I've created a very simple project here with three groups. The first two are drum kits and the third one is a bass part. And each one of these just has pattern one selected, which is a very simple one bar pattern. This is what it sounds like. And you can probably see here that um, none of those sounds are actually coming out on this first MIDI track, which is the one with the Machina on. Um, and the reason for this is that I've, on each group, I've clicked on out here and I've routed the group to a different output of our Machina. So rather than going to master output as default, I've selected output two for the first group, output three for the second one, and four for the third. So now you can see if I play these patterns, that they're routing out onto these three MIDI tracks. So just to show you how I'd do this um, with a fourth group, I'll just very quickly set one up. So if I click on group D, go to kits, select something like the apparat kit, then create a very simple pattern for that. So now what I want to do, first up, I'll click on out for the group, and then I'll route that to output 5. Uh, and the other thing I want to do is set up the MIDI settings for the group, the batch settings. Normally, if I click on here, it would open up the window, but if that doesn't happen, I can click on the, the group switch here and then choose sound MIDI batch setup. Now I want to have it set to sounds to MIDI notes and the MIDI channel, this time I'll set it to four. Because the first three groups are set to MIDI channel one, two, and three. And I click apply. Then go to live, create a new MIDI track. And then drag this pattern out onto that MIDI track. Now I need to, on this MIDI track, set up an external instrument effect and you could do this with the normal MIDI track but of course then you'd need to have a separate audio track to have the audio routed to so uh, with a MIDI track with the external instrument device on it allows you to route MIDI out of the track to an external device either um, external hardware you might have or um, a different MIDI uh, instrument actually within the session so I select Machina I select uh, MIDI channel 4, and now I just need to get the audio, which is 1, 2, outputs 9 and 10. So now, so as you can see, now we've got all of these groups routing out onto individual MIDI tracks. Um, the only thing is, now at the moment, we're actually still playing those groups from the patterns in Machina. So If I just select an empty scene here, or choose an empty pattern within that scene. Now, if I click on this scene up the top here in live. And you can see that now we're controlling each of the groups from these MIDI clips, uh, as well as having the audio routing onto these tracks. 
So the only other thing worth saying is that um, with these settings, you can still uh, use these group effects within Machina. So. so if you want to make use of any of Machina's effects, then it's still doable. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial useful. See you next time.